using conics. Now, uh, in main, we can take an Im uh, implicitly defined function, open up a graph window and have a look at it. Um, and we can see it's obviously a circle. But when we go to analysis GSOL, we really can't find out very much about the circle at all. So what we'll do instead is take a copy of um, this function, edit copy, and we'll head off to the conics application. Here it is. And uh, I'm going to paste it in here and then tap onto this icon to have a look at it. Same idea. But then when we tap onto analysis G solve in here, we've got a whole load of different options. Obviously, a lot of options are grayed out here, but for a circle, center uh, is displayed with the coordinates or analysis G solve radius is also given here. The radius is three of this circle. So it's a pretty easy way to analyze this circle. Now, other things that we could do, though, back up in this top window is actually change, fit it into conic form. So maybe if I went for this form where it's um, the center and radius, let's have a look. And so a class pads converted it into that type of form. Or I could have maybe changed and gone for something like this form here, uh, a tap OK, and it's converted into integer form there. So. Um, it's pretty good to do some conversions. Now, if instead, let's just clear that out um, here, and I'm going to choose a different conics for maybe, uh, let's take the very top one that's selected here. So we've it's uh, a relation. Now, what I'm going to do is instead of tapping the left hand, the second button in here will pop up a slider for us here where we can explore what effect the coefficients A, K, and H have. So. Um, let's tap A here, as you can see, as we change A, um, it's changing the sort of um, the concavity of our function. K here, as we change that one, is um, moving the graph uh, vertically. And if we change H by tapping on the slider, or we could drag the slider, you can see it's um, moving it uh, in a horizontal direction. So you can explore these equations using the, the built-in sliders.